Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today we will be importing custom chains of proxies. Now I have done literally no prep work for this uh, deliberately because I want to see if I encounter any problems by doing this the first time around on Kali Linux and if I do I want to resolve them here together with you because if I encounter them chances are that you will encounter them, encounter them as well. So automatically you will know how to solve them. But I don't predict any special problems here. This should be fairly straightforward. So let's just go and type in free socks 5 proxies and see if we can find any for ourselves. So socks proxies free socks 5 and socks 4 proxy lists. Let's see what this website has to offer. Excellent. So we have a lot of these things here that we can use. Uh, anonymity, anonymous, I suppose they all claim that they're anonymous, but that's uh, that's really questionable. So you want to be using, you generally want to be using proxies in countries that have a good reputation for not sharing your private browsing information or something like that. So uh, the countries that do have a good reputation with that, well, China doesn't share much with anybody else. Uh, Russia doesn't do that either. There is Netherlands as well. If they have Netherlands here, that would be awesome because Netherlands has fantastic privacy policies in terms of information, in terms of personal inf personal user information. And Germany is also not bad. So those, those are some of the countries which you can use that are fantastic in terms of privacy. Uh, they will not share your traffic with pretty much anyone, or so they say, or so they claim, but yeah. Who, you, who will you trust? That is completely up to you. But again, it doesn't really matter that much to you, primarily because most of the work that we're doing here, or should I say all of the work that we're doing here is white hat, and all of it is legal. So you can use any of these to simulate a real attack, and even if even if you can find if you can reverse tracks and find yourself it's still okay as long as you are using some sort of a proxy to give real time circumstances and encounter real time problems also to circumvent firewalls and so on because if you want to see netflix or something like that you will need a proxy in the united states most likely you won't be able to do it with a proxy or you will be but you will need a really good one rather instead you will need a vpn Anyway, uh, without further ado, you have an IP address here, which we will need. You have a port number here. Uh, we won't need this. We won't need this. And we will need a version. So we'll need a version. I'm so surprised. Ah, okay, there are multiple pages of the, for this. So actually, let's see if there are any, any proxies from Netherlands. Nope, there is. Netherlands is not even listed here. It doesn't exist. Okay, never mind. I'm sure that it does exist on some other websites. I have seen them and I, uh, I am inclined to use them primarily because they're good policies. But for, uh, for our purpose today, it's truly irrelevant. So let's just go ahead and select the first five from the list. So I need to copy this, open up my terminal, and let's just make our screen convenient so we can do a, a ton load of copy pasting. Uh, there we go. Just do this and let's grab the Firefox browser. Just expand it accordingly. Excellent. So we, I have everything that I need. I have port number, version, and the IP address. I need to expand the terminal a little bit to gain on size. Excellent. Clear the screen for any inconveniences. Nano uh, slash Etsy. Oops. Etsy. Uh, yep, Etsy, proxychains.conf, make sure that dynamic is com is uh, selected and that everything else is commented out. Go scroll down to the top, bottom and let's go. Now we need to specify our proxy chains. Go ahead and start typing. Anything, anything special we need to know here? Nope. Type of host port, user values. Nope, doesn't specify anything special. Let's just go ahead and type in, you don't need to use capital letters, just so you know, so SOX5, this first one, is it? Yep, it is SOX5, and 
paste the IP address. Bit of a longer IP address. Let's just add, let's just let's just go ahead and add tabs here to be on the safe side, so that all is neatly done and sorted. So it's three three one six nine three three one six nine. Press enter. So socks five tab. What is the next one? And the next one is ninety four hundred and eighty. Paste it. Tabify it and the port number is 1080. So 1080. Let's take the next one, which is just need to do this a bit faster. So socks. Oops, sorry, this one is actually socks four. And the next one is actually socks five. So tab. As you can see, it's a fairly simple process. I mean, there's nothing really special that you need to do here. Just create, just create a list which you will end up using. Eight, eight. Uh, I can assure you that like more than half of these proxies do not work. Uh, not because I can see some information on the screen that you can't, but rather instead uh, because I've had experiences with such proxies and they generally do not tend to work. But uh, enough of them works for you to be able to anonymize yourself to a good extent. So it's the next one is 1806, 1806, and zero. Make sure you get the ports right because if you get a wrong port, your connections will be dropped by default on that IP address, and you'll think that the proxy is malfunctioning or something like that, but it's not. It's just you typing typing in a wrong uh, wrong pro wrong port. So again, we have socks five and an IP address here. So the, what is the port number? 1080 again. You will see that some port numbers have been standardized, and they are just rolling. They're repeating. You don't need to do that much thinking there. Press enter. I just want to separate them from these, and let's go ahead. Control. Oops, no, 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 sorry. Uh, no, I can just save it, doesn't matter. Nope, I don't want a different name. Conf, excellent. Messed up that with the name. Okay, so let's exit Nano. Expand our beloved terminal, the holy grail of power. Type in uh, pretty much the same thing as we typed in the previous tutorials. Proxy chains firefox www dot duck duck go dot com so just keep in mind that you can type in any URL here and as long as it's valid it will open it so let's just go ahead and see what happens press enter ah nothing literally nothing what happened it even didn't even start proxy chains with it why not well you need to close the browser first and we unfortunately had this list open that continuously keeps changing as well and that's a problem because you cannot have Firefox open and then start it again with through proxy chains you need to close it completely make sure that it is completely closed I can see nothing in my working menu down there down at the bottom of the screen and let's try again same thing see now it's taking a bit longer as soon as you see that something flies through with proxy chains using proxies uh, that's really fast, you know that something is wrong because there's no way it's going to be fast. So what do we got here? Timed out, timed out. Again, we have timed outs and it's a dynamic chain, so it's trying to go through all of them, but it's skipping those that are not functional and you never want, I mean, at the beginning stages, uh, I, a long time ago, I was like, I'm going to use... 50 proxies and I'm going to be completely anonymous. No, no, you will. I wasn't even able to load the basic of sites uh, or issue even the basic of requests with that. You need to keep it low in terms of proxies depending on their speed. Excellent, so uh, hopefully one of them is going to pass and one of them is going to work. This is one way of looking at it and trying to figure it out. Another way is just looking at the screen and see what's happening here so I'm just waiting for one of at least one of yep there we go one of them said okay but it needs to go and try all the others out as well before it can actually verify 
what's what is it that it's going to use in order to open this side up hopefully it's not going to take too much time so you see we have all of these timeouts and only one of them was okay which one was okay uh, DNS response duck, duck, go, dot com. there we go it should be open now no it is not this was just a DNS response uh, is not exist hmm have I mistyped this duck duck go no I don't believe I have okay it's formulating a request again through different series come on please succeed excellent this one didn't succeed well now it has DNS response is duckduckdo.com is 50181922250 have you opened it please tell me you have no you have not okay we gotta wait a bit longer and this is the sad reality of using proxies if I have used one or two this would have been a lot simpler but I just wanted to make a point here and show you uh, you're not gonna get anywhere if you're using a lot of free proxies and imagine scanning like a hundred hosts using proxy chains like this and this would be the amount of time that it would take to even load a basic website imagine how long a scan would take it would take forever okay so finally finally it is requesting information on port 443 as you can see all of the above communication was attempting to establish attempting to get a response from the DNS server we still haven't even big look by this this is how much information has been processed before we even started before we even started to uh, load the DuckDuckGo.com. As you can see by the port names, it's 53. That the 53 are DNS ports. And if we go down, down, down below, you can see that finally I'm looking for port 443 somewhere around here. I swear I saw it a moment ago. Uh, t -t 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 1080 that's a proxy port this is a proxy port as well 53 again DNS resolution port yep there we go 443 has begun here it's still loading it I wonder has it opened it yep there we go it is up and running the site is functional but it has taken us a lot of time to open it using a lot of free proxies. So stick to two or three at max and it should work and stick with the ones that have the best grades, reviews and so on. Stick with the ones that have the greatest uptime as well. That's one of the, that's one of the routes that you can take. In any case, I bid you farewell and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.